What's up guys, it's time for another workout at home quarantine. My name is Chris Gomez at Cross Flipper on Instagram. Thanks for joining me here today. Today, I'm gonna beat up a little bit of your core. We're gonna work a traditional CrossFit movement called the squat clean. So I'm gonna show you how to do that if you don't have a barbell and uh, we'll go from there. Of course, uh, we'll begin with a warm up. We'll get into a little bit of strength training, which I'm gonna focus mostly on core today. A, a little bit of um, legs and upper body, but mostly core. And then we'll get into our wad, which has our squat, our, our squat clean. And we'll go into our cool down after that. So let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. Okay, so for the warm up, we're gonna do this for three rounds, all right? We're gonna start with uh, 15 air squats. So uh, go ahead and get in your squat position. I like to open my feet once. Take my heels up, open them again, take my heels up, and that's a good squat position. It's right outside of the shoulder width. Okay, kind of point the toes out, not quite 45 degrees, but just a little bit outwards. Okay, we're gonna go both hips back, knees pushed out, and we're gonna go for 15 reps. Okay, great job guys. What we're gonna do now, um, we call a uh, gun sneaker. Okay, I'll, I'll show you what that looks like with the kettlebell. And I'll, I'll, you can use a dumbbell for this or your milk jug. So for your gun sneaker, I wanna swing my arm up to where my elbow is about 90 degrees here. Okay, and what you can do is put one hand here and just stop right there, okay? Okay, literally like um, swinging the gun. Go ahead and take 10 of them on each side. Okay, now we're gonna do our gun finger with a kettlebell.
Okay, let's go with our gun fingers now. Okay, on each arm. Okay, and 30 high knees. Okay, and that'll wrap up our warm-up portion. Let's go ahead and take a small little break and we'll get into our strength component for today. Okay, so one of the challenges that we have in quarantine is working out the lats, okay? This is um, your pull-up motion. For those of us who dabble in um, some CrossFit competitively, I say competitively uh, with air force there, um, pull-ups are very essential parts and you need the lat strength. So keeping that lat strength up without a pull-up bar can be challenging, all right? So I'm gonna give you a, a movement here that's gonna uh, work your lats and uh, some of your chest, but mostly lats, okay? I'm gonna give you some variations for that. We're gonna do a dumbbell lat pullover, okay? So on this movement, um, what we wanna make sure that we're doing is um, engaging the lats first of all, okay? Um, if you do not have a heavy enough dumbbell, we're gonna go for more repetitions, okay? But another thing you can do aside from going more repetitions is just really slow the movement down. That way you get a good burn in the lap and it even becomes a little bit eccentric while we're doing it, okay? So we're gonna go, um, just depending on the weight you're using, anywhere from, I'd say, if you've got something very heavy, maybe um, eight reps, um, you know, 10 to 12 would be moderate. Um, 15 to 25 probably with something really light, but I would definitely slow down on this lat movement. Okay, um, if you've got a bench or something that you can lay down and be elevated to um, do this movement on, that's even better because you can do it from the floor, but the floor is gonna really um, um, slow your range of motion. And if you're on a bench, you're gonna get more of the lat engaged here by pulling the dumbbell over. So I'll demonstrate that movement. And then we're gonna superset that with a, um, Four movement that I'll, I'll show you, okay? We're gonna um, do some knee tucks, but we're gonna use either a chair or a bench as our target as we're gonna tuck in low and then over at high, okay? So our rep scheme for this will be our, we'll do our lat or whatever, our, our lat pullovers, whatever weight you're gonna use for those and um, you can vary the reps just depending on, on, um, on how many, on, on the weight you're using and how many you're gonna be doing, okay? We don't wanna go into failure, on each set, we probably wanna to go to about like 80 to 90% of where failure would be, okay? So you wanna stop where you'd probably have maybe five more solid reps left on the lat pullover, okay? So um, after that, we're gonna go into 10, 10 of the knee tucks with the bench target, okay? And I'll demonstrate that. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the lat pullover, let me demonstrate this from the floor first. Okay, we're gonna grab our dumbbell here. I'm gonna grab the bottom of it. I'm just gonna pull it down here, touch the ground and come up. Okay, engage the chest and the lats. Okay, um, if you're more comfortable with the grip here, we can do that. It's just gonna really shorten our range of motion. Okay, when you have an object traveling over your head, um, you definitely wanna be careful. Another thing you can do right here is hold it right here. Okay, and uh, grab it that way. Okay, um, this can be done with the kettlebell. Um, I would definitely wrap my hands around the thor the horns of the kettlebell. Let me demo with that. Looks like so, hands around the horn. And we're gonna pull over this way. And with our Water container, we're gonna go really slow because this is not, not about 10 pounds, so you're probably looking at doing 25 really slow here. Okay, so I'll be, I'll be doing mine on the bench. So let's go ahead and start with step one. Okay, I'm gonna start with this 30 pounder to begin.
Okay, and we are supersetting that with a little bit of core here, and we're going for 10 reps. What I'm gonna do is tuck my knees, my feet here, untuck, come to the bottom, tuck, that's four. Okay, we're going for a 10 there. So um, there's set number one. I'll show you a side view of those uh, of the core work right now when we get into set number two. Okay, on this lat pullover, we want to make sure that we're keeping our arm, our elbows as straight as possible going over. Otherwise, you start engaging your triceps. And um, I mean, it's not a bad thing to work out your triceps, but our target for today is the lats. So um, the, the less that we bend our elbows, the better it's going to be for our lats. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with set number two. For the core work here, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that does it for set two. Get, give yourself a minute and then we'll get into set number three. So what do you guys think? Should we go for a fifth set? Yeah, why not? Let's go for a fifth set.
<sighs> Dan, that does it for our strength component. Great job, guys. Five sets there. Uh, really felt some burning in the chest and back, so uh, great combo move there. And let's go ahead and take a minute break, go to the bathroom, grab a drink of water, and we'll get ready for our Metcon for today. Okay, so for today's quarantine Metcon, our workout of the day, our what? We've got, and we're gonna keep it basically simple. We've got two movements for you. I'm gonna go over those two movements. We've got the dumbbell squat clean. It's gonna be a single dumbbell with a flip at the top. So I'm gonna demonstrate what that looks like. And then uh, we're gonna go uh, 12 of those. And then we're gonna go 12 of the dreaded burpee. Okay, we're gonna go as many reps as possible in 12 minutes. So this one's gonna hurt. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so you're just gonna to pace yourself and um, start breaking up those burpees of when they start to get unmanageable. Try and control your breathing, your heart rate. You'll probably hear me, hear me with a lot of breathing. I'm a, I am a heavy breather, okay? I admit it, I own it, I am a heavy breather, okay? And uh, like uh, my buddy Anthony says, let's not take any unnecessary risks, okay? Uh, so we're gonna push really hard. Let's go over movement number one. Okay, so for movement number one, we've got a single dumbbell, Squat thing, okay? So I'm gonna grab my dumbbell like this, okay? I'm gonna flip it up and catch in the squat, okay? Come back down, flip up, catch it on the other side and the squat, okay? Flip and catch. Okay, just be real careful not to drop, drop heavy weight on your feet. Let me go ahead and show you what that looks like with the kettle down. So grab from the handles, flip, catch. Handles. Hip and catch. Okay. And of course with the milk drug, we're gonna go handles, flip upside down, make sure that cap is on tight. Handle, flip upside down. Okay. If you're using the milk drug, I'm gonna expect you to go faster just because it doesn't weigh as much as a kettlebell or as a dumbbell would. Okay, so that is movement number one. Movement number two is the burpee. So what we want to do is reach for our feet, drop those hips back, chest kicks the neck, feet come up, go. Okay, so that's the burpee. We can modify that by going ahead and just walking down, walking back up, little jump, okay? That'll save a lot of your hips, okay? If you've got maybe a bad knee or struggle with some range of motion, um, what we're gonna do is swing down, up and jump, okay? So, Something that you don't have to drop all the way to the ground with, okay? In a nutshell, that's basically it. We're going as many reps as possible, so we're gonna go for 12 straight minutes. 12 uh, squat cleans, single dumbbell squat cleans with the flip and 12 burpees. So let's go ahead and, and get started, guys.
minutes left. Oh, that one was a killer. If you do this one at home, let me know how you guys do, do it for sure in the comments. I'd love to know. I got six rounds, six full rounds, plus five uh, additional squat things. So I know a lot of you guys are out there that can beat me, so go do it. Go do it. So let's take a minute to get, get our breath back, and uh, then we'll get into our cool down. Okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, 
workout, we're gonna get into a five minute cool down right now where we're gonna hit a little bit of our lower back, our QLT, including our spine, and a little bit of um, the front of our shoulders and chest, okay? So um, go ahead and follow along. This will take five minutes, and it is part of the workout, so make sure you're uh, completing it, okay? Uh, mobility is really important, especially after a workout like that, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with um, our first position. It's gonna be called the Sphinx, okay? We're gonna be lying on our belly all the way, and we're just gonna raise our chest as much of our stomach off the floor as possible, holding it on our arms. So let's go ahead and start with the Sphinx position. the right leg over it. I'll put the right hand back and bring the left arm over the leg. So stretching out that spine, lower back, the QLT band. Okay, we're going one minute on each side. face on the ground, left arm comes through, we can use our right arm to kind of brace ourselves. Okay, and find a comfortable position here. Okay, find a nice spot to put your arms. Last stretch of the day and we are done. About 45 more seconds.
Okay, and that does it for today's training. Great job, guys. Uh, man, that was metabolically, it was challenging. Okay, um, hope you've enjoyed these quarantine workouts. I know we're probably really missing our gyms by now, but I mean, uh, doesn't mean you can't work hard, okay? Uh, just look how sweaty that I got in my own garage here with just a little bit of equipment. Okay, guys, it's not, uh, fancy equipment is nice. A full gym with barbells and rowers and um, ski ergs and um, all, all the cables and everything. Uh, like, it, it is nice to have, but it, uh, fancy equipment didn't get people to where they wanted to go. It was hard work. So if you're not willing to put the hard work in, um, the fancy equipment means nothing. So don't let this quarantine period bring you down. Work hard. If you missed one of my videos, you can go back on this channel and access them at any time. The great thing about this is you can pause it. Um, you can go at your space. You can modify them however you want. Remember to hit me up on Instagram at Cross Flipper if you've got any questions for me or um, comments or suggestions for a workout. Okay, until tomorrow, I will see you later. Take care, be safe out there, and hope to see you back in the box pretty soon.